Deep Rock Galactic is an action-adventure FPS made by Ghost Ship Games and published by Coffee Stain Studios in 2018. In this game, you go around in caves shooting these bugs called Glyphids, and that is what I'm talking about today. In the game, there are five main Glyphid types. Swarmers, Grunts, Praetorians, Oppressors, and best of all, Dreadnoughts. As well as that, we can find Swarmer Nests, remember this now, and Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts are typically found in eggs, meaning there is something larger that leads them. Behold, the Glyphid Hierarchy Theory. This is disorder from top to bottom. Queen Dreadnought, Dreadnought Babies, Oppressors, Praetorians, Grunts, and the Swarmers. So, let's go through each tier and explain why. Swarmers. These are grunt babies, unexperienced, small, and only sent out when needed, as I theorise. Also, it says that they have no armour plating and just left the lar- and only have just left the larval stage. Grunts. As the game states, they are the most common and typically in packs. And are typically in packs. Grunts include exploders, grunts, web and acid spitters, guards, and slashes. The latter two are from mutations when going from swarmer to grunt. Web and acid spitters have evolved so either they have their own queen but work with the others or something else. Exploders could have evolved or it is some mutation or virus. The frequency of radio- radioactive ones to the, ra- to the radioactive exclusion zone is alarming, possibly hinting at mutations. However, a certain hazard indicates otherwise. Praetorians. Praetorians, I believe, are babies from oppressors, oppressive females, to be exact. The looks are similar, so it's possible. Other glyphids in this tier are wardens and menaces. The game says the warden is a subspecies from evolution, so they adapt to the as they adapt their forces against Deep Rock Galactic. I have no idea where this guy comes from. We wait for more details, I guess. Menaces must be further proof of spitter colonies. That's all we've got. Oppressors. Oppressors, I presume, are the are the kin of a non-queen dreadnoughts. The other two here are bulk detonators and crassus detonators. The bulks are, as the game says, is the res- the bulks, as the game says, is the result of an exploder that lives too long and grows, possibly hinting that most of my theory is completely wrong and that they grow. The crassus, however, could be a detonator mutation, and that makes it so that upon detonation there is a chemical reaction that turns the area into gold. Dreadnoughts. Twins, Hive Guards, and regular Dreadnoughts, these are the kids of the Queen. That's. That, yeah, it makes it. Yeah, it's self explanatory. Okay, right. The Queen. The mother of all Glyphids and the top of the food chain. We have never seen her, and we may never will. Theory 2. The Queen lays loads of eggs, like ants, most of which are swarmers that grow more the longer they live. From Swarmer to Grunt to Praetorian to, and then Oppressor, and once every so often a Dreadnought is born. This ant colony theory follows similar principles to the hierarchy theory, as in it's a hierarchy. Conclusion. If the Spitters have separate colonies, then they they must be working together to stop Deep Rock Galactic. But that is it. There are many flaws with both theories, part due to me not wanting to spend more than a day on a draft, and also that not loads has been revealed in terms of Deep Rock Galactic Glyphid lore. <clears throat> if you watch to the end, thank you. I have plenty more of this DRG biology series on the way, as well as a collab for the engineering of DRG and a secret project in the works. So if you don't want to miss any of it, make sure to subscribe with notifications on and also like the video so more people see it. Goodbye.